welcome back to Vigor. It is your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. In my previous video, I told you all to not really take notes from it if you would like to either play like me or, you know, try to become better at the game because there wasn't really a lot of stuff you can learn from that video, in my opinion. It was nothing but sight and shoot. Set up, shoot. You know what I'm saying? When I say set up and shoot, I mean set up and then shoot. You understand the difference? I believe y'all can learn more from the setup than the actual shot. Because anybody can kill anybody in this game. Anybody can kill a sweat. A sweat can, can kill anybody. And everybody. But it takes a setup to get over on certain people. And you see, that is what I'm going to try to explain to you all in this video. We arrive on Dark Fisk Fabric. And I'm going to say it, spoiler alert, by the way. This video is designed to give you a sense of apprehension. Action 1. I radiate that airdrop that's all I'm going to say actually no I'm going to say this as well I radiate airdrops when I don't bring in uh, radiation grenades and you'll see why you'll see why so y'all stared at the map just like how I did at the beginning of this encounter and y'all know the container is right down there right down there so, what I believe is that a random outlander, not a sweat, but a random, actually, a sweat would do this 10 times out of 10, but a random outlander will go for a container over a bard house. That's what I believe. And if you think I'm right, like the video. So, you know what I'm doing? I'm biding my time. And I'm setting myself up in places where if a spawn is A and the container is B, I want to be between A and B. Not so much to where I can be seen, but to where, but to where they can be heard easily. And y'all know my spawn, and y'all know that I know spawn points. Somebody spawns back there. Back there is one of my favorite spawns on this map, to be honest with you. And somebody else spawns at that blue house. Right down there, right where I'm looking at. And you see, I'm crouch walking for no reason at all. And I'm very apprehensive about that spot, but nobody's in it. And now we hear shots. We hear shots, right? Consistent shots. More like shots that are telling you, I'm not hitting him, but I'm trying to. But what I'm hearing is, come and investigate. Now, I'm on top of this hill, right? This very ominous ass hill with a lot of hostile trees and bushes and shit like that. But yet, I don't hear anything.
probably because I was never meant to. I was never meant to hear anything because everybody was already here waiting. There's a saying that I read in Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. He who hesitates falls first. And everybody here hesitated. But it, all it took was for one domino to fall. And then everybody sprung into action. And it was like that because nobody knew there was somebody else camping. When they shot, they got shot. When they shot, I, they got shot. You know what I'm saying? So, that container is still locked. I didn't open it. somebody spawns over here and before you be like jet i know somebody spawns over here but what are you trying to say that door is open right what i'm trying to say is he stopped through here because this is a very popular spot for raincoats now hear that car alarm remember that car alarm people remember it so i'm gonna grab a shotgun because I'd rather have a shotgun secondary than a rifle secondary. And delete the SG-1. We don't need a raincoat with an SG-1. That shit's too accurate as is. And we're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep it moving now. Reload inside the house real quick. That airdrop just landed. Y'all heard it land. I got two choices. Go for that airdrop or check the container one more time. And y'all know what I'm going to do? Walk right up here and I'm going to check the container. But what's crazy is, as I'm walking, I hear somebody. Y'all seen how I turn my camera right there? I heard somebody. It doesn't hurt to check. But now, I got an even bigger problem on my hands, or dilemma rather. Do I loot this guy and risk getting shot myself because the container's still locked? Or do I come over here and see about the sound that I heard? Well, I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna loot this guy. Shotgun out though, just in case a hostile bush were to appear. Good news is I killed him with the SVU. Nobody should have heard me. Should have. Now I'm trying to find his body. 
wherever it's at. I should have pinged it, honestly. Because right now, I'm wasting time. You see, I'm like, where, bro, where is he at? Doing a whole 360 and shit. And, nope, that's flowers. The container's open now. So, somebody got it. But I wonder who. It's him. And you know that. Because nobody in this lobby had an L86. But all of a sudden, there's one on his back. I wonder where that came from. So, I got a choice of really good weapons here. I got a choice, but not the time to sort through the choice. I'm going to do something here that y'all might yell at me for in the comments section. But you hear the timer going off. I'm going to leave the Magnum and the PSS behind. Because, because, my dear people, last second meta. I'm going to ask you to keep an eye on that airdrop symbol at the top of your screen. I'm going to ask you to do that for me. Because you remember when I said I heard somebody back there? I'm not sure if y'all heard it. I'm not sure at all. But if you didn't, rewind the video right to the point where I pull up my mortar strike and turn up your volume a little bit because right before those mortars drop, you heard you can hear him scream as he died to spicy air, aka radiation. Remember when I radiated the air jump at the very beginning of the game? Yeah. He died to that. He committed suicide by airdrop. I'm, I was thinking, why wasn't he moving? He gave up. That's why he wasn't moving. I didn't know what he had on him. I just know that I heard somebody and they're inside of a tent. And I got a whole LED6 in my back and I don't want to lose it. And I'm also in radiation as well. I did not know that he was in that tent because he gave up. But if you want to be technical with it, he died to one of my actions. I radiated that airdrop at the very beginning of the match. And he picked up said airdrop. Well, actually, I did an action on the airdrop and the airdrop killed him. So A equals B, B equals C, A equals C. I killed him. But that's not how the game works. So three kills. Or three headshots, rather. Am I mad I didn't become a threat? Hell no. I got an LD6 in my back. And like 6.2k experience. And 6.2 is actually the engine displacement of my dream car. That you see in the beginning of my videos. So, it's okay. 
I'm not even mad. It's been a good game regardless. However, I'm going to end the video by saying this. Be careful. Be careful. Not because of me, but because you never know who's around. And you won't know until you find out. I'll be sure to catch y'all in the next episode. Until next time, peace.